Alrighty, welcome back to the Thorek campaign. For anyone new, I play Warhammer by using a suite of mods to try to make the campaign longer and much harder. And I usually fight every battle except for the most lopsided ones manually. And I try to stick to a particular theme. So here we are on turn 119, and you can get a sense here of how we are doing. We're actually doing pretty well, but it's obviously a much slower campaign than the vanilla is. So the, uh, the war with Cetra here has gone on for what seems like forever. Um, we're only on turn 119. It seems like it's been going on for at least 200 turns. We've probably wiped out, I don't know, 20 or more of their armies and they keep coming back at us, but we have slowly gained ground. And at this point, we've got a, kind of got them scattered here. We've got an army of Cetra over here, relatively low level units, and they're actually kind of moving towards Bagar here. So Krokgar is our ally, and they've been quite ineffective, but it looks like they at least are distracting this one army down there. Meanwhile, we have taken from Kimri, Kasabar here, Springs of Eternal Life here, and then the big prize, of course, is Kemri itself. We're going to have to try to take Numas over here and Quitar, and then I think once we do that, that's probably all the territory over here that I really am interested in. I don't even love having some of these things because it is unpleasant climate, but we kind of had to just to sort of nullify uh, Cetra as a... Uh, as a serious opposition so they do still have one army here they got another army over here so we got to kind of be careful about letting our armies wander around where they can gang up on us so that's really the main strategic consideration right now is we need to make sure that we don't allow ourselves to get outnumbered in any battles but i think that we're probably okay we are Really focusing on replenishment in this army down here. He has suffered badly through a number of different battles. This is Thorek himself. He still needs some replenishment, but he's much in much better shape. And then up here we have Tekton. Same here. He's in pretty good shape. This is actually an army, army that we have borrowed from Krokgar. And it was useful in a battle over here, but it's probably at this point outlived its usefulness. I could go ahead and return it. I don't know whether there's any real reason to do so. Um, but anyway, I, uh, I may decide to do that just if I don't see any value for him in the last two turns that we've got him. We do also have this army over here, which won a great big battle against the Beastmen, which wiped them out. So that was pretty big because they were over here raiding our territory. And, uh, and threatening Carrick Orid here. So up here we do still have some concerns because, well, you know what? I have, I did not notice this before. Maybe I did and just forgot about it, but we, we had the Skaven up here as close as Misty Mountain, but it does now appear as though Thorgrim has come all the way down to here. That's pretty, pretty aggressive for Thor Thorgrim. He's up to 17 settlements, so... That's very impressive. Let's just take a look yes. here really quickly here. He is not really willing to do any negotiating with us, but obviously he's much less of a threat than the Skaven would be. So we're at 29. He's at 20, but that 17 settlements is quite impressive. He is at war with both Rictus and Moors, which Queek and Tretch. They are both not looking good, which makes sense because they're both fighting a war against a, a very successful Thorgrim. Okay, so we just have to... We've got Kimri down to five settlements, but look at this. His faction strength, he's still stronger than we are, which seems a little outrageous after all the winning that we've done, all the armies that we've destroyed, and taking his capital city. But you know what? It is what it is. The AI can replenish faster than we can can reconstitute their armies faster than we can, and it is the uh, the Tomb Kings, and of course they don't have to pay to recruit new units, so it is what it is. Meanwhile, we also have Scrag here wandering around, but Scrag, quite thankfully, has decided to forego attacking us for the time being and has been fighting Scarbrand instead. 
which is good. You know, that suits me just fine. Well, I think he had moved. I think Scar uh, Scrag had moved an army up here, maybe towards Gorgazan. I can't remember exactly. But anyway, so this turn, things to watch for over the end turn would be for Crocgar to try to take Quatar here. That would be fine if he wants to do that. That frees up us having to worry about this, although it would prevent us from completing this province, but that's okay. That's a small price to pay to continue to win the war against Cetra. Meanwhile, let's go ahead and actually start doing some stuff here. You, I think we want to go ahead and get our rank in here. You've already got Deadly Onslaught, so let's go ahead and give you Rune of Grimnir. And I think I'm going to leave him in... Well, you know what? Ready. Yeah, never mind. He can't reach anybody. Zero percent. Zero percent. Zero percent. Yeah, he can't reach anybody to attack. He's doing more good by sitting inside the settlement and getting the, uh, the replenishment than he would be outside the city. So I think we will stay there with him and wait for these guys, particularly Thorek. To make his way up here to be able to help out in a battle. But Thorek now, you, I think we do want to pull you out. The question is, if I move you into Kemri's territory here, Kemri, yeah, okay, if I move you out of the city, you go from replenishing five per turn to what? One per turn, okay, that's that's pretty significant difference. I think maybe I think maybe we'll give this another turn inside the city to get replenished a little bit better. At some point we got to we got to let our armies recover. They've been fighting battle after battle after battle without really any rest and any chance to recoup. So I think since we're We've bought some time here. I'm just going to play defensively for another turn or two. And, uh, yeah, with Numas will be our next target, but I want to wait until we can get multiple armies converging on it at the same time. So we are getting pretty good money each turn, so that's fine. We can afford to, to kind of stay defensive for the time being, lick our wounds, get some replenishment. And meanwhile, do we have... Do I have any heroes capacity? I do have a runesmith that I could that I could recruit at this point. However, what is it? Yeah, right here. I can actually. I was thinking that this would give me an additional rank to my runesmiths, but I guess I have to get all the way up to tier five for that. Yeah, an additional plus four hero recruit rank. Well, we're not going to wait for that. So let's go ahead and get another runesmith recruited. And the ward save is very good. The disciplined is great for everybody. It's the, the leadership is a little bit less important for dwarves, but the melee attack is always good. I think we'll probably go with that. Yeah, because he's, he's not going to be primarily a meleeer. Yeah, let's go with Discipline. It's always good to get some bonus uh, melee attack. Let's go ahead and see if we have any magic items to give you. We do have runes. Even though you're not primarily a meleeer, I don't really see any reason to not give you these because it'll probably happen at some point. Enable Dazed Contact Effect. That might be worth considering. Why not? Let's let's try it. And then uh, ancillaries. Are there any ancillaries to give him? Powder maker. Sure. Why not? Student, of course, definitely. And teller of tales. Why not? Okay. And then skills. You get plenty of skills. Sharpen weapons, obviously. And then we're just going to give you some runes here. Um. I think I probably use slowness more often than. Oath and Steel. Okay, very good. And we'll get him up here. Maybe this army over here. I think all of these guys are already at 20, right? 20, 20, and 20. Although, 
well. I could consider dumping the Slayers. I don't think I have any other Regiments of Renown anymore. Yes, I do. I do indeed. And actually, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get a Runesmith in here. I'm not going to dump these Regiments of Renown just yet because we do... At any given time, we might have an opportunity to attack one of uh, Cetra's or Scrag's armies. I think maybe what we'll do, now that I'm looking at it... Let's, let's see if we can scare him away. By moving out to here, you can go into Encampment Stance. This is slowing down your replenishment, unfortunately. Maybe this isn't a great idea. Now I'm going to do it because I'm going to, I'm going to then move Thorek all the way up. We push onward. It's more important for Thorek to get the replenishment, and I kind of want to have him now close enough to where King Rasfa here. Is probably going to get scared away. He's going to. He's going to. R U N N O F T. Okay. Um, think. Uh, let me just really quickly check to see if I want to build anything. We had opened up these slots by destroying or by. Uh, what's the What's the word I'm looking for? Demolishing the uh, the growth buildings. I do want to get. The garrison here in Labaris at some point, because it is coastal, it is vulnerable to attacks from the from the sea, but I don't think it's a priority. This is maybe not a half bad idea. Any better use for my money right now? This might not be a bad idea. Doesn't increase my capacity for things, unfortunately. And you, I'm just waiting for you to finish. I don't have any building to do over here. I could do another tier of, of walls, but I don't really think it's necessary. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do this because money is always a good investment in the long run. Okay, let's go ahead and check our diplomacy out. Wisdom awake. You require... What? All right, let's go ahead and end our turn and see what I forgot. Okay, Scrag was up there. I was right about that, but he decided not to attack it. Very interesting. I wonder if Scarbrand is up there. That's the only thing that I can think of that would have stopped Scrag. Okay, so did he actually take it or did he just lay siege? I couldn't really tell if Krokgar attacked or not. And here's this hopeless agent which just keeps sailing back and forth in the ocean not actually going in any one direction far enough to discover any new factions, which would be nice because it would open up trading possibilities for us. Okay, it looks... Yeah, it looks like uh, he did not take Quitar, so I assume he just besieged it. Okay, and he performed assault units on Tecton. This has been sort of the bane of my existence in this campaign is Cetra's agents just continuously annoying me with uh, assassinations and assaulting garrisons. Okay, he did move away. He didn't completely leave our territory, but he's not raiding anymore at least. Let's see how bad the damage to our units is. 
We also gained one rank. Okay, so Tekton, yeah, a lot of awful lot of damage from that uh, assault units. He is a level 39 hero, so that is going to happen. So it's time to do a counter assassination. I just have to find an agent who is poised to do that. I think with you, we're ready for Barak Far Handshake there. Now, one of you, maybe both of you, thir level 36. Your chance to assassinate him is 45%. It would cost 818. And Gotri, your chance to assassinate is 58%. It would cost 897. We have to do it because it's just too annoying. Failure, of course. Because a 58% chance for me is probably more like a 28% chance. Okay. And then uh, let's just see if... How bad is your... Or your, is your, your chance is now down to 25%. Yeah, I'm not going not gonna to even bother to pay the money for that. Okay. Well, he's probably going to turn around and assassinate my level... For the wisdom what what the level is... Uh, I cannot... Is Gotri here? My my level 34 um, Runesmith here. He'll probably get assassinated next turn. It is what it is now. Meanwhile, we could attack. No, we can't attack. Nothing is nothing is close enough to attack. I think what we can do, My faith in you we're going to use you one last time. We're going to move you here and hope that they come over here and attack you. And if they do, you can just retreat and that would hopefully leave them in a position where they are close enough that we will be able to... Actually, we might as well. Are we strong enough to beat that army? Yeah, I think we are. I think we are. I, I hate to... get in a fight with these guys without the support of... of Thorak, because... they need... They need replenishment, not more casualties, but if it's a chance to take out an entire army, it's worth it. So we're going to put him here, 40% chance. Suspect it will not work, but why not? We'll try it. We're going to keep Thorek here replenishing. And at least we're now getting our Quarrelers one of them's actually even reached maximum. The others are getting closer to being full, full units. Same with uh, most of the the uh, long beards. Okay. Oh, I didn't even realize I got I got giant slayers here. I got giant slayers here. I got regular slayers here. And what about down here? What do we have here? No, no slayers here. Okay. Is that army likely to attack... Sp oh, yeah, it's definitely likely to attack Springs of Eternal Life. Well, then I guess we will move over and defend Springs of Eternal Life. That was rather uh, foolish for me to have not done that last turn, I suppose. It's not like they're going to be attacking Kasabar anytime soon. This is a walled city now with a size 17 garrison. And our units are better than their units anyway, so think it's safe to leave him where he is, or I should say leave Kasabar down there undefended. Okay. Um, just make sure here. You are actually close enough that you could attack and Scrag could support you if you wanted to, but I don't think you would because even with this army being somewhat damaged, that's still, I think, a losing battle for you. Yeah, I think I think we're safe. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look again at our buildings here. 
Are uh, public orders okay here? I meant to check this last turn. Our public order is okay here. We don't need any more growth, so I could even demolish this building, possibly. Is there any value in keeping this? Not really. Gonna demolish it. Okay, and then you're still two turns away from getting your your uh, Gromreal Forge here. Nothing else to do in this province. And we are determined not really anything to do up here. Springs of Eternal Life will in one, one more turn. That'll be good. They'll be up to... Uh, a uh, level three settlement and then we can do a little bit more building in there okay all right um hero not moved Agreed. oh yes of course let's get you moving up here Move. we'll decide which army to put you in once we rearrange units i suppose and then Outpost available, not going to worry about. Let's check diplomacy. Defender of truth. We do at least have some trade going on with uh, with three oh, different factions, so that's good. Me. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Uh, what are our objectives, meanwhile? we Oh, we have to take Numas, of course. And now I still have to win Clad, uh, Clad Burkak. Quest battle. I just want to refresh my memory here on what exactly that's going to involve. Okay, yeah, that's a tough, tough army. We need to at least have our, have Thorex army replenished before we fight that. Okay, let's go ahead and end our turn. See what, uh, what the bad guys do here. Scrag first. Okay, I like the fact that he's... I don't like the fact that he's raiding with one, one army, but I do like the fact that Scrag himself continued to threaten Scarbrand. Oh, you didn't even attack Quitar. Or if you did, you lost. I guess you lost. That was very impressive, Krokgar. How did you manage that? For those of you who have been following this campaign all along, you know how I feel about Krokgar. I am looking forward to the day when we can uh, break our treaty with him and actually declare war on him because he has been such an annoying alliance partner. Don't get me wrong, I'm glad that, uh, that he's on our side right now because we wouldn't have been able to beat both him and Cetra at the same time. But, okay, this is a concern. Now these, they've got multiple armies over here consolidated again. And they've got multiple armies over here. Now, yeah, he's going to try to attack. Are we going to get an ambush off? Okay, it's not an ambush. It is a close victory, and if we were uh, if we were tempted to do an auto resolve, we could auto resolve this, wipe out a bunch of Krokgar's units, but we would only lose the Slayers from our army, which, quite frankly, that's what they're for, as far as I'm concerned. However, we are not going to do that. We're not going to auto resolve because we don't auto resolve battles in these campaigns. Um, the question is, do we want to fight this? I don't think we do. I mean, we got... They're not great units that they've got, but they've got a, a lot more of them. And our, uh, our casualties are so high... Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to retreat from it and then we're going to see if we can do a counterattack and get Thorek into the fighting. That would be ideal. Stay there. No, don't run away. Don't run away. Uh 
Ah, uh, he ran away. Figures. Okay. Well, we might maybe possibly be close enough to hit one of his armies. If I can destroy one of his armies, that's worth it. Okay, Clan Moors did the Scheme of Doom. Orion is going to behave more aggressively, whatever. Mastercrafted weapons, that's very good. I'm glad that we got that done. Grudge issued, okay, so. Raid any region belonging to the following race, the Goldtooth tribe. Why does it say, it says Gore something kingdoms, but it's, you can't see it from that, uh, from that text box. Okay, so we got, we got, uh, ooh, interesting. Okay, Nagash and, uh, and Scrag at war with each other now. We did finish demolishing and build a keep, and we returned to Biscus. Okay, and Thoric is up to rank 42. Which, as everyone knows, is the ultimate answer to the ultimate question of life, the universe, and everything. And we are not close enough to attack any of his armies. Unfortunately. Alright. Meanwhile, Kimri, we spent the money on repairing the damage here thinking that that was going to fix the problem with this garrison not replenishing. This garrison really is just not interested in replenishing. <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, I know that the dwarves have have low uh, casualty replenishment rate ordinarily, and we have cut it in half with the mod that we're using. But even so, this is kind of ridiculous how slowly the that garrison is replenishing. Okay. I think what I want to do, I don't see any reason to not continue lightning strike here with, uh, with Thorek. Thorek could actually reach either one of those armies, but they would both probably retreat from him. These armies down here, he cannot reach. Can these armies reach him? That's the question. No. Or I'm, I'm, what I meant to say was, can they reach Springs of Eternal Life? And the answer is no, they cannot. So Springs of Eternal Life is now up to a garrison of 15. That, uh, that army right there is slowly improving here. Five per turn. Nine turns away from from fully uh, replenishing. And, uh... What else do we want to do here in Springs of Eternal Life? I think... I think the answer is obvious. We are a trading faction, so we probably want to build that. We may also want to build this. And we probably also want to build this. Okay. Well, there goes our money. But I am, uh, I am satisfied with that. It's now here, let's take a look here at Krokgar's situation. So Krokgar got himself beaten up pretty badly in an embarrassing fight over here. He did do a little bitty bit of damage to them. Probably didn't knock out any units out of King Sachem's army. If he did, they've already replenished up to 20 units. Okay, we're back at a situation where we are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six armies of Setra against our three armies. So every couple of turns, Setra is just right back where, right back in the same place where they vastly outnumber us. At least we have had time to build up our defenses. As long as we stay close to our garrisons, we do have the upper hand, I think. But we're going to have to just kind of be defensive until they present us with an opportunity. Now, I could attack this army, but the problem is I'll suffer some casualties in the process, and then, and then Scrag would be able to hit us with both armies. And so that's a dumb idea. So here we go. We're going back to the drawing board for the time being. 
Are you still getting five down here? No, you're getting more than five. Okay, that's that's right, because this this goat farm is actually better than the regular old growth building over here, so good to remember that. Okay, and then Thorak, you're going back here. And Tecton, you are going back in here. And we're going to wait for them to present us with an opportun opportunity to counterattack them. Now, Thorek, what you really need is... You need the uh, a master engineer in here because I am eventually going to get a lot of quarrelers into your army. So I think that's really where this guy needs to go. Oh no, you're not a you're not a master engineer. You're a thane. I have the forge for I'm sorry, you're a uh, a runesmith. I already have a master engineer, of course. Okay, so yes, that's fine. Let's get this runesmith into there. Sharpen weapons. You're not nearly as effective as Gotri, of course, but you'll do for now. And then Gotri up here. I have the forge fires what happened to his hero? Is this, is this the hero? Rank 40 now. 58% is going to cost us 918. Two chances at 58%. The runes are ready. Extra 9% of wounding target. Very good. Okay. All right. I'll take it. If... Uh, if 58% means one out of two, that's uh, that's definitely a ratio I will accept. Okay. So this in turn is going to again be all about all about replenishing and looking for an opportunity to lash out and destroy one or more of Cetra's armies. Each of our individual armies is stronger than most of his individual armies. That's that's the one thing that works in our favor. We can't see them all, but the ones that we can see, they don't have... They've got one Kimrian War Sphinx down here and one uh, Hyra Titan. So that's a, that's a decent army, but it's still not really anything for me to, to worry about. I think we're... We're okay. We're okay. So let's go ahead and... My anger burns bright. At this point... At this point, I'm tempted to actually move him down here and start recruiting some more units. And so that we can get... This way we could get a fourth army online. How much are our... Uh, our Corallers are running us 155. Yeah, we could get quite a few Corallers with him. Master of Runecraft. Oh, he can't quite reach. Okay. Well, we'll put him... We'll leave him I in... Uh, so. Actually... Yeah, no. We'll, we'll leave him in Marsh Dance. We'll come down here. I'm going. And starting next turn... What? We will... Uh, We will start recruiting. Let me just make sure. Yeah, we can recruit everything from this province. I thought so. Okay. All right, good enough. And then um, building upgrade available. Yeah, we don't really have the money to be able to upgrade anything else. Research. Okay, good old research. I think at this point, let's just see what we've got here. Things that save us money are good. Actually, everything is good. I don't know why I'm... Hammerers, we're not in any hurry to get more hammerers. Increased uh, recruit rank for Thanes. Venerate the Ancestors, not really doing much of that right now. This increases our income. I don't really know how many salt mines, pottery uh, producers or dye makers we have. I don't imagine we have very many. This is probably good. Let's let's take the income. At some point I'll come back and get superior black powder. 
but I don't have any thunders in my armies right now. Thorek is kind of a kind of a, a quarreler focused army or a faction, and I like it that way, at least for most of the game, because quarrelers can shoot over units and uh, thunderers cannot. And I find that thunderers often have a problem. Most gunpowder units often have a problem where a little bitty bit of a hill in front of them, any kind of like a, a ridge crest in front of them, and they just don't shoot. Okay, anyway, diplomacy. Wisdom awake. Okay, nothing to do there. All right. Hopefully the uh, being defensive here for the couple of turns isn't going to completely come back to haunt me. But I wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so Krokgar just kind of just kind of doing the usual, you know, wandering around basically not really accomplishing anything. More or less what we've expected from Krokgar this entire campaign. Yes, and this, this agent is continuing to just sail along charted territory, so he's not actually discovering anything new. At least with that agent over there, that gives us a little bit of visibility into Cetra's two, uh, two uh, territories over there, two regions over there. And I assume they're going to destroy Krokgar's army here. Indeed they are, without really suffering much in the way of casualties on their own. That, uh, that suits me fine because I'm really annoyed with Krokgar. Okay, now, this is interesting. King Sachem there. wonder how many times we've destroyed his army. Multiple times, I'm sure. He's getting a little bit closer to us. Probably not close enough to attack yet, though. Okay. Right as Sotek performed. That's wonderful. Okay. Population surplus. And we got the raiding, of course. Okay. Speaking of... Oh, Cetra. I forgot. We accidentally uh, wounded Cetra in the previous episode. <laughs> when I fought a battle against him without even realizing it was Cetra himself that we were fighting. Okay, so meanwhile... Where's his... Oh, that's right, we succeeded in uh, taking out his his agent. So I think... I think maybe what I'll do over here is... I don't really want to get rid of any of these high rank units. The only one that's a relatively low rank is actually this Longbeard unit that's at full strength. I was thinking of getting rid of the Giant Slayers, but I mean, they're, they're rank 5. I kind of would hate to, to get rid of them at this point. So instead, we will maybe use Gotree for something else. I don't really see any agents worth assassinating. Do you have any characters in any of these armies that you could assassinate? None so far. No. What about down here? Nope. Ooh! Look at this. He did not succeed in taking Bagar. Bagar here actually held off that attack from the Tomb Kings. That is very, very interesting. Can we reach him to attack him? We can, although he's certainly going to run away, right? He'll retreat, right? Master of Runecraft. Still kind of seems like we should try. Is there any chance he doesn't retreat? My faith in you wanes. Well, he does have these units right here. Glory 
Okay, okay let's try it. I will suffer attrition whether he retreats or not. That's that's my one hesitation is I don't want this army to be suffering attrition out here for no good reason. And I'm afraid that's what's going to happen. Do not betray your I just realized this entire episode I've had my microphone in the wrong place. Okay. Um, I just... I just have to assume he would retreat. Okay, I'm not going to because I. it's more important that we continue the replenishing, I believe. We have this army finally in pretty good shape. I don't want to turn around and start suffering attrition with it. You as well, you're getting six per turn now, seven turns away from being full. Yeah, that's fine. Up here, you... You could reach. That is a winnable battle. You could reach, but then you would not be able to make it all the way back to Kimri. However, you could probably make it far enough back that that they would not be able to attack you. That uh, Scrag's army up here. No, no, because he's only. Oof! I guess it really it comes down to where is Scrag. Would Scrag be close enough to come down and help attack? What? Is, is it worth this? Is it worth the risk? I think it is. It is time. Let me do this first. Let me send. Let me send you out. Okay. I still don't see Scrag. Summon me if you dare. Fight. Okay. Let's get. Uh, Let's get you, let me spin my camera around, make sure I'm doing the right thing here. Let's get you back into the army. We definitely want you in the fight. Okay, I am not, I'm not seeing Scrag. Okay, let's do this. Boom. Decisive victory. He is willing to fight us, however. Okay. Banner of Lost Holds. This is a melee attack plus five. Base weapon damage, 8%. Permanent buff. Let's give it to let's give it to the the unit there that's in the best shape. Okay, let's go ahead and fight this battle. I was a little bit afraid we were gonna go through the whole episode without fighting any battles. Now, I do have a couple of units here that I kind of want to protect. However, the Giant Slayers are not one of them. I like thematically using my Slayer units in suicidal charges against monstrous units. Because, you know, it's thematic. It's what they're for. So let's get, let's get them somewhere where they are going to be able to get around and hit... A large unit. The Lord and the Thane. Let's get you guys on one. You guys can stay together. Now of my front line. These guys. I'm going to get you back out. But the rest of you. Can all be my three. And we're going to kind of just get you here in the middle. And you. I'm going to pull you out. But the rest of you, we're going to get you up here behind them. I could checkerboard, but I don't think I need to. I think if I'm smart about my positioning my front line here, I should be okay. Let's just get ourselves a little bit better coverage on our front line here. I think that'll be okay, and then let's get you guys, let's get you here, and you here. That's a, that's a pr pretty solid front line, and then we're going to have a little bit in the way of, of reserves here. Let's get you, let's get you into the, the woods as well. 
And they are going to come towards us because we're going to start launching grudges at them right off the bat. Is that everybody? Nope, I forgot. I forgot you two over here. Oh, no, I didn't. I put you over there on purpose. Okay, start battle. Let's go ahead and speed. No, before I speed things up, let's make sure that we're hitting the right units. Don't really care about skeleton warriors, so we'll hit those Nehikara warriors. Come on, guys, you're a regiment of renown. You can, you can do better than that, can't you? Yeah, I'm very unimpressed right now with my regiment of renowned grudge throwers. There we go, there's a hit. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and switch over to them then. A little bit surprised they haven't come towards us yet. Now they are. Okay, we got uh, quite a few trying to flank us over here. Those skeleton horsemen are in for a surprise if they come over around this way. Because our slayers, I think, will make short work of them. Okay, meanwhile, how are we doing? Thinning out their front lines just fine. Not doing too great, though, are we? What about... Let's start hitting you. I suppose let's go ahead and speed things up again. Okay, now I need to start paying attention. We've been spotted over here. You guys get into the woods a little bit further. If they fly in and attack us, that's wonderful. That's That suits me just fine. But they are not going to, are they? And we can't exactly attack the carry in there. Okay, we probably are going to need to turn him around. And we're going to need to turn him around. We're going to need to turn him around. Let's actually widen our line here. And if they charge in, which they are... Okay, let's get you guys... Where'd their carrying go? I missed their carrying. Now let's get you around to the side. I don't really see any reason right now to not get you involved as well. No, I, never mind. I want to keep you where you are. You're fine. Oh, there's the carrion. Okay, let's go ahead and get you on them. You on them. You can keep shooting them. You help out here. And let's go ahead and... I don't have any... I don't have any, uh... Oh! Look at this! Our Slayers are losing a fight to Carrion? Really? It's amazing. You... Okay, that's... It's a little embarrassing there, but whatever. You can now turn... Yeah, you get, get back into the trees. How are we doing over here? Okay. We need you guys to shoot at those Ushabti. We need you to get back and be our front line. Okay, you can fire over here now. Oh, we got uh, Tomb Guard over there. That's a good target for our Grudge Throwers. Okay, our Slayers, we're down to one single Slayer here. Got wiped out. That's fine. That's what they're for. This Grudge... I'm sorry, this is a giant slayer. Let's make sure that they don't get the carrion in there on our uh, on our flame units. Okay, I can't really see where... The, okay, they're attacking right there. That's fine. Get on them. Now you can kind of come out here. You go ahead and get in on those guys. Oh, 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 this is bad. This is really bad. Let's get one. Let's get all you guys on those Ushabti. Forgot that they can summon Ushabti. That's quite, uh, 
quite uh, annoying. Okay. Still, I think we're doing okay. Where's my uh, flame units here? Let's get you around flanking where you can hit them pretty effectively. You guys get in over here. You turn around where you can hit them from the flank. Actually, scratch that. Keep shooting at them. Okay, we need to shoot at some of their uh, archer units there. You guys should be doing pretty pretty good work against those guys. Get you over there. Get you in on them. You have been badly damaged. You get back. Keep shooting at them. What? Who's withdrawing? What on earth is causing me to withdraw? Okay, I think uh, they should be disintegrating. Yeah, okay, get, get in on those guys. Okay, we took care of their lord. That's good. We still, we took care of the Ushabti. That's good. Keep shooting at them. You get over here where you can shoot without having trees in your way, please. Okay, looks like everybody's going to disintegrate now. Let's get you back out. You can't... If they're going to disintegrate anyway, I, I see no reason for my flame units to take more casualties. Okay. All right. We lost 128 dwarfs, including getting a Slayer unit wiped out. That's fine. Like I said, that's thematic as far as I'm concerned. And uh, we did destroy almost 2,000 bony guys. So feel like that's a worthwhile exchange. We just need to make sure that we uh, go into march stance and run back towards Kimri as fast as possible so that we don't get caught in the open. However, this army is, is still capable of defending itself if the ogres do decide to attack us. Okay. Just 300 gold. The dwarfs do not get much out of winning battles, do they? At least not from a money perspective. However, we can take this. Do I want that or would I rather have the Gorog here? This does give growth and control. I don't think we really need those things, though. We'll take the treasury. Follower gained. We got a goldsmith. Okay. Close victory, huh? Even though we suffered 128 casualties and they suffered almost 2,000. That's still considered a close victory for this game. It's, a, it's an interesting concept there. Okay, let's... Uh, Let us begin. Let's race back. At least we can get far enough away where we're not suffering attrition. The only army that might be able to reach us is this one. And I like our chances against that army if they do try to attack us. Well, in fact, we're close enough that the garrison would come out and support us, so there's no risk at all. That was definitely worth doing. Okay. So, meanwhile, I was giving you Wall Breaker. I wonder if I want to continue that. I've already got this line pretty well done. I've got this line pretty well done. Yeah, let's give you Wall Breaker. That works for me. Summon me if you dare. And a level 15 Thane. Looks like Deadly Blade is next for you. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, that because that worked. Actually, you know what? That means I can go ahead and put An Gotri in Tecton's army now. There's now room for him. There we go. Perfect. We lose a Slayer unit. We replace it with a Runesmith. With not just any Runesmith, but a level 34 Runesmith. That is quite a formidable army now. You, meanwhile, 
We got 7,000 here. So let's, you've got melee infantry right now. Let's start doing some quarrelers. And what I should have done, I didn't even think about it, but I should have changed my commandment here. We don't really need the growth. We can't build any more buildings. The tradable resources is always good, but this is really what I should have done is increasing recruitment capacity and reducing recruitment cost. And we finished this building, which means hammerers and iron breakers. Well, maybe someday we'll, uh, we'll get ourselves a nice solid army of iron breakers, but we're not quite there yet. Um, meanwhile, you, Hawkenhoff, you are fine. Thorek, I'm still tempted to do this, but no, I'm not going to. We need the replenishment. We got King Satchem here, Baron. Actually, can we reach him? We can reach him. What would he do? Would he retreat? This is forbidden. Do I have time? I think I'm assuming he would retreat, but at least here we don't have we don't have to worry about suffering attrition. Are you close enough? I, I can't this. tell if you are close enough to attack Springs of Eternal Life. But if you did attack... Oh, yeah, no. I was going to say, if you did attack Springs of Eternal Life, I think we could win that battle. Except for these units right there. That's a problem. I think I'm going to do this. And then I'm going to move Halkenhoff into Springs of Eternal Life to defend it in case this guy can reach. That seems like a reasonable plan to me. Will he retreat? That's the question. Fails me. Well, we're going to find out. I know we're almost at an hour already, but this is going to be a field battle. And I don't want to forget, and I don't want to miss this opportunity. Scores to settle. He is not retreating, and it's a close victory. Wow. It must be because the... The Lord is level 27. Well, they do have the Screaming Skull Catapults and the Casket of Souls. So that's a concern. However, we're going to use our Slayers and our, and our Gyrocopters against them. So let's take a look here at the terrain. Okay, let's fight the battle. Obviously, this is going to now be a longer episode, but I have hopes that this will go well. Quite frankly, I feel like my character units, and, along with the, uh, the giant slayers and the uh, gyrocopters here, could do pretty much most of the fighting for us. Let's get you guys, the rest of you guys, we're gonna get you in the woods here. We'll bring you into the fight if and when the opportunity presents itself. But the rest of, of you, here, the Master Engineer, I don't know about you, but I do know, and you're, you're my new runesmith. I don't really want you up there. Am I overvaluing Thorek's fighting ability? I just kind of feel like he should be able to do... A lot of the fighting here himself, supported by by a high-level Thane here. The two of you are my one, my giant slayers. I'm going to bring you around from this flank. My gyrocopters, I'm going to get you up here. I'm going to bring you around from that flank. We're going to try it. I'm going to see whether or not this is a, a really bad idea or not.
All right. What are you doing? You guys. Actually, this is fine. If you want to get on them, that works for me. So, Thorek, you can get off a... Uh, a Rune of Wrath and Ruin here. Hopefully soon. This works for me. Boom. Go ahead and do this before I forget. Okay, here we go. Get on those Tomb Guard. Okay, never mind. That's a bad idea. Okay, how are we doing over here? Chase them down. I don't want you. Oh, I gotta get. I gotta get the uh, catapults here. Get on those screaming skull catapults. Where's the casket souls? There it is. Okay. Meanwhile, all of you guys, let's get you over here. Yeah, Thorek, you're doing just fine. My Thane is doing just fine. My uh, Giant Slayers are not doing super good here, are they? That's okay. This is what they're for. Okay, King. Let's do this. Let's get, uh, let's get some damage resistance on those Slayers. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're on the Catapults now, so that's good. All right, now, here we go. Let's go ahead and get you guys out. You can come forward now. You guys can come forward. Two of you over here. Two of you over here. Okay, the giant slayers are just about wiped. They didn't exactly accomplish what I wanted them to, but it's fine. Let's go ahead and get... Uh, let's get a good shot in on them, I guess. Okay, how are we doing here? Let's go ahead and hit right there. Oh, my my gyrocopters ended up withdrawing. That's not great. Okay, you guys are actually taking a little bit of damage here. Let's go ahead and blow up these guys over here. Okay, meanwhile, we should now be in pretty good shape up here. All right, Thorak, how are we doing against their lord? Not great, not too great. He's definitely a real nuisance. Our gyrocopters need to continue running away. Just, just go ahead and sit the rest of this one out, guys. Let's go ahead and get our long beards into battle you guys are fine you go ahead and help him out you turn around and help out here you guys shoot at them you guys shoot at them you guys shoot at the screaming skull catapults there all of you for now you guys go ahead and get in on them okay how are we doing here taking a lot longer to uh to take out his uh, lord than I thought it was going to. So that's definitely a miscalculation, but it's okay. All right, you guys go ahead and get in. Ooh, our uh, coralers back here definitely need to pull out. Well, never mind, they're broken. However, we're winning over here. How we doing here? We got a... A good shot for a uh, stream of corruption, except it's not called stream of corruption over there. What are you doing over there? You're supposed to be on the Lord. Over here, let's go ahead and get a big blast off right here. Okay, 
Okay, you guys go ahead and back up. We want you out of the fight. You can come forward. You guys should be winning over there. Okay, all of you. No, you need to you need to get out of here as well. Well, I think you just broke. You can back up. You're already backing up. You're running away. Shoot at him. You shoot at him. Thorak. Okay, how are we doing over here? We need we need all of you guys who can to fire at those skeleton horse horse archers. You as well, actually. And you are let's get you up there on those who shab Okay, Thorak, how are we doing? We still have not taken out his uh Do I have any other debuffs? I don't. All right, let's let's just buff all of our units over here. Okay, we should. Uh, this is bad. This is really bad. Stupid Ushabti summons. I gotta remember them. Okay, how we doing over here? You guys. Okay, we, I think they're all disintegrating. There we go. That all to take care of it. Okay. Other than the Giant Slayers, did we lose any units? I don't think so. Okay. All right. Perfect. Again, thematic. Don't mind losing Slayer units. That's why it was considered a close victory, or was it Pyrrhic victory? Anyway, it was because of that Lord... That Lord is a, uh, he's a tough one. And of course the, uh, the Ushabti Great Bows and the, uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, Casket of Souls. That Casket of Souls did, looks like by far the most damage to us. Not really surprising. All right, well, nice victory there. And the nice thing about beating the Tomb King... Oh, I forgot to assign my banners, didn't I? It's pretty dumb of me. Uh, let's give this to... Uh, I guess one of them was probably assigned to the Slayer. Um, let's give it to you. Okay, so we again... We'll take the money, I think. I've no use for you. Yeah, so that's a... Uh, that's a that's a good way to end this episode, I think. Pretty pretty good strategic victory there. We are going to want to get him racing back into territory where he's not going to suffer attrition, of course. Um, I, do, I do want to remember to move him up to there, though. I don't want to I don't want to make this episode any longer so I'm just going to have to try to remember it. Okay. All right, cuz I don't have time for another end to turn. Okay. Anyway, like I was saying, I think that's a good place to leave this off. We uh we're going to have uh yet more battles to come against Cetra and possibly Scrag in the very near future, but for now, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.